We recently covered the ongoing debate regarding the true age of the Great Sphinx and the recent controversy found in the geological evidence, which indicates that the monument, long taught to be a mere 3,000 years old, is, in reality, as much as 800,000 years. This evidence is based on erosion patterns and their shared characteristics with coastal erosion patterns. Additionally, we also covered the remarkable discovery of a possible second sphinx found a short distance away. However, what we didn't cover was the anomalies that can be discovered regarding the continued mainstream posit of the sphinx experiencing modern manipulation, and the possibility that the face now found upon the sphinx was a much later, even possibly modern addition, now concealing the true identity of the sphinx. We have touched upon the rather amateurish stone cuts that are visible around the Sphinx's headwear in the past, along with its ears and many other interesting yet largely unknown and, we feel, academically ignored features found all over the Sphinx's face and head. From the neck down, the Sphinx still shows its age in all its glory, not only a match to the far more eroded, now unrecognizable second monument found a short distance away. The question is if mainstream academics or those bestowed with the responsibility of protecting the Sphinx were not aware of the controversy in regard to the Sphinx's true identity all these years ago, then why did they do these works? Why did they clearly implement great efforts, and clandestine at that, if they were not aware of its fragile and seemingly hung existence, hung off a far older relic, not only hiding its true age, but continually pushed as the authentic original appearance of this great monument. Not only is our evidence mounting in regard to the true age of the Great Pyramids, and possibly for this exact reason, the numerous additional works clearly made by later yet also advanced ancient now lost civilizations are now visible to all who visit these monuments. But it seems that the cracks are also beginning to form, thankfully only within the modern paradigms, in regard to the true identity and true age of the Sphinx as well. Who built the Great Sphinx? Who added the head we see today, one now synonymous with the plateau? Why were manipulations done to the head, clearly to preserve it, yet in complete secret? We find our research and the mounting evidence supporting our posits highly compelling.